And now, for life advice from Husky the Wolf. Dear Husky the Wolf, I'm a pathetic little loser on the internet. How can I possibly pick up chicks? That's a very good question. The thing about chicks is that they're highly elusive and very shy. So you gotta sneak up on them from their blind spot while they're not looking. So, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta figure out where the elusive female lurks. First thing you gotta do is find them, and the best places to look for them are either clothing stores or coffee shops. Let's say you managed to do all of that right. You managed to track her down in her natural environment, and you snuck up on her blind spot. What do you do then? Well, the best thing to do is to get your arms under her rump and then bend your knees. Don't lift with the back because that hurts. So, bend with the knees, keep your back straight, and then with one big heave before she has a chance to ask what the heck you're doing, lift her up over your head. But don't do this too quickly because you might hit her head against the roof and make her slightly less attractive. Once you do this, it's best to run away with her as fast as possible. Whatever you do with her after that is completely up to you. You can put her right back down, you could take her home and eat pizza, you could take her to a video arcade, that's all good. All you gotta do is repeat this process a few more times with a few more girls and then, buddy, you will have successfully picked up chicks. Dear Husky, I've put on a lot of weight over the holidays. What's the most effective way of losing it? That is a very good question. The key to losing weight is going to be a little bit of a lifestyle change, temporarily at least. So what you want to do is you want to start working out. Cardio is the best way to do this. And so the best way to keep yourself working out is to stay motivated. Try subsisting exclusively off of things that can run away, such as chickens, rabbits, and small children. You're going to find that when you do this, you're going to be burning off a lot of excess calories naturally. And when you finally do manage to catch one of those little creeps, you get to reward yourself with some nice, nummy nom-noms. But running is only one possible avenue for this. Swimming is arguably even much stronger. Tie a bunch of raw steak to your head and jump into the Atlantic Ocean. Just keep swimming for a while until something comes along that wants to eat you. Then you gotta turn the tables on them and eat them back. This is naturally going to take a while because it's not like there's a shark every six feet in the ocean. So you're going to have to swim for a while. And this will naturally burn off a lot of them excess calories. But this is a very important piece of advice if you're going to go that route. Listen carefully. Do not, under any circumstances, let the shark eat you first. This may lose you a lot of weight, but it's counterproductive in the long run. Trust me. I don't have a torso. If all else fails, I got one more trick that's sure to lose you a bunch of weight. Step one, pick a fight with a bunch of superheroes. Trust me, there is no better full body workout than trying to survive against a team up of super powered individuals who are out to put you in jail. But before you do, it's good to have a working knowledge with what kinds of superheroes you're going to be facing off against. That's going to be for a different episode, however. Point is, when they inevitably beat you to within an inch of your life, they're going to throw you in jail. And that, my friend, is a great weight loss program because the food there stinks. Dear Husky the Wolf, I just had a fight with my girlfriend and now she's mad at me. What can I do about this? That's a slightly above average question. So just know, just because the fight's over doesn't really mean it's over. She's still gunning for you, so you need to get to her first. You can manage to break into her house. You want to set up some bear traps around key strategic locations that you know she's going to be in. Like the shower, like the kitchen, like any of those places where you can count on her being there at least once a day. But if stealth ain't your thing, you're going to want to go the complete opposite route. Buy yourself a nice big battering ram and get a couple friends together to knock her door down, and then take the fight to her. But careful, she's probably expecting an attack. Keep an eye out for booby traps and landmines. She might also strap a couple of laser beams to whatever pets she keeps around the house, so don't trust anything moving. Most battles with your girlfriend are going to take place indoors, so try to keep your weapons short. Big baseball bats are unwieldy and can get caught on stuff. Ideal weapons for these scenarios are like knives, tasers, and small animals that you keep on short sticks. They're real easy to make, too. Just go out into the wild, pick up a raccoon or something, duct tape it to a baseball bat, 
and bam, you got yourself a nice indoor weapon that don't need swinging. But you really gotta hurry up though. Time is of the essence when you wanna win a fight with your girlfriend. She's gonna be preparing for you, so you gotta strike quickly before she's ready. Go, go now. Take her out before she takes you out. Do it, do it now. Go! Please don't actually do this. This is, this is horrible. All of the things that he just said were completely nuts and insane. Please, please don't actually do this.